So one of the things that always irritates me when I go onto YouTube and look for information about where to travel to to meet beautiful women is the kind of lists that you typically come across are kind of very PC. They try to include everybody, all diversity, rather than just getting to the chase because I know that you want to know in 2022, where should you go to meet the beautiful women of Europe? I've actually been, like a lot of these people make these lists as well, I must point out, to all 50 countries of Europe. I've actually been a single guy in all countries, and in most of them I've gone out and partied and dated to a certain extent. So definitely, I went through all the hard yards, gained those hard yards so that you don't have to. And in particular with, you know, the COVID restrictions over the last two years, making it harder to socialize and travel, you definitely wanna know specific to the new year, this new year of 2022, where you should be going, the five best countries to meet beautiful women in Europe in 2022. Bye, Ekele. Sar Experience. So just behind me there is the Swedish Embassy. And that gives you a hint what number five is on the list because I'm going to go in reverse chronological order. So the fifth best country, in my opinion, to meet the beautiful women in Europe is in Sweden. But why should you be going to Sweden to meet the beautiful women? Well, first of all, in my opinion, I think they are the most beautiful on average in, we'll say, the west of Europe. Women are stylish, beautiful, and they are sexually liberated, which Maybe for some of you, it's not going to be, some guys watching is not going to be uh, a big plus, but they are more forward sexually. They take initiative and maybe hot feminist is not uh, so appealing to me. It sounds even like an oxymoron, but that is actually what you will find quite a lot in Sweden. So I can't deny that. Yes, Swedish women definitely very high on the beauty. So, and actually another interesting thing as I start to walk uh, down the hill here is when I did a DNA video about Ukrainian beauty, a lot of the DNA, significant part of it, turned out to be from Scandinavia. There's definitely a correlation and no surprise that a lot of the hot, beautiful women of Ukraine. So definitely very strong start with number five, Sweden, Svenska. You should also learn a little bit of that, the Swedish language for when you go. And let's go on to number four. So country number four on the list is Serbia. What are the advantages of going to Serbia other than the fact that there are lots of beautiful women there? Why is it maybe easier to meet them? First of all, level of English is very high in Serbia. It's not so overrun by foreigners as maybe countries like the Baltics are, other countries that are in the EU. But Serbia is not in the EU and there are less cheap flights. You know, the kind of Ryanair, uh, Wizz Air, EasyJet Brigade haven't quite arrived en masse in Belgrade and the cost of living in Serbia, so going out partying and spending time there, is pretty low on a European level. It's actually pretty cheap relative and definitely the opposite to country number five, Sweden, where it is extremely expensive. So definitely, I think for the Balkans, in my opinion, that is number four on the list of best countries in Europe to meet beautiful women to 2022, Serbska. So country number three on the list, my opinion for 2022 is the country which I am walking through the streets of the capital of right now, and that is Ukraine, Ukraine. So definitely, having traveled all the countries of Europe, I think maybe on average this is the country with the most beautiful women. So the question for you probably is, as a result, Connor, why is it only number three? Why not number two and number one on the list? Well, said you know, the best country to meet beautiful women. Now, if you're coming as a foreigner here on a short trip, doing kind of a lads weekend slash and burn here in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, then it's not gonna be that easy. There's absolutely no foreigner factor. Coming here with your British passport or German passport or American passport and thinking that that's gonna be of, you know, high value to the local hotties here. You're about, well, you're at least 
10 years too late to the party and probably about 25. In reality, there are so many foreign guys who come to Ukraine to chase the local girls. Uh, so you're definitely not a novelty. That is kind of the downside of coming as a foreigner, as a tourist. Now, of course, if you come and live in Ukraine at least for three to 12 months a year, as I always advocate, then that starts to change and you can uh, actually really enjoy it here, not just because of the dating, but also because Kyiv is kind of a cool city and Ukraine in general has a lot to offer to foreigners. Cost of living is, you know, a fraction of the West. Basically, unless you move to Ukraine, it's probably not the best country to come to, but undoubtedly it is full of beautiful women. The other big issue, which I talk about a lot in this channel, is the fact that especially Odessa, in the south, the summer capital, is scam central. There are just so many scams and scammers targeting uh, foreign guys who come in here. And if you don't speak Ukrainian or Russian and you're here on a short trip, then you they have a mark on you to try and get your money and uh, not give anything in return. So definitely that is another downside to coming to Ukraine is the amount of scams both in Kiev and Odessa now, and other cities is a bit less. But yeah, overall, I would say Ukraine still comes in number three just because there are so many beautiful Ukrainian women uh, here. But gotta in order to be successful, and I see this with clients and with guys I just meet who are, who are tourists here and my friends, my own experience is the guys who do best in Ukraine are the guys who stay the longest, i.e. they actually move here. So let's get into places where you might not necessarily have to move to in order to have a really high chance of success. Let's get into country number two. So country number two on the list is beautiful Belarus. Now Belarus is the country neighboring Ukraine just to the north and uh, in terms of looks and beautiful women it's pretty similar here to Ukraine. Uh, kind of a bit of a personal preference which you think there are more beautiful women in. Now in Belarus you definitely have a high foreigner factor compared to here in uh, Ukraine. Basically Belarusians love foreigners compared to Ukrainians. Part of that is the fact there are very few foreigners who go to uh, Belarus relative to Ukraine probably. I don't know if it's even 10% of the number, but definitely it is dramatically less. And even my Ukrainian guy friends tell me that as a Ukrainian guy, they're even super popular in Belarus compared to back home. Another downside that I didn't mention also with Ukraine is the fact that the level of English is not going to be very high, unlike Serbia and in Sweden, for example. So definitely uh, you're probably not realistically going to be able to communicate with about half the girls in Belarus. Same with here in Ukraine, so that's maybe a downside. We are, I think, the nationality in Eastern Europe that is most willing to leave the country. That is probably good if you're not going to move to the region uh, or you don't want to live in Belarus, even if, you know, like one of my clients who has actually moved his girlfriend here to Kiev, uh, his Belarusian girlfriend. So that is making it for me number two uh, because it is a lot easier just to meet beautiful women in Belarus compared to Ukraine. A little bit of anticipation. I guess you might be able to try to uh, triangulate which is country number one coming up straight away. So drum roll. Country number one for 2022. Most easiest or best country to meet beautiful women is the big Russian bear, Russia. Uh, of course, neighboring Ukraine, we have a bit of political tension at the moment between the two countries, uh, as pretty much has been to a certain extent over the last eight years, but I'm putting Russia number one. So why put Russia number one and not Ukraine and not uh, Belarus and not Serbia or not Sweden? Well, you especially in the big cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg, you have beautiful girls who come from all over the country. Russia is enormous, the biggest country, geographically speaking, in the world. Obviously, the population is pretty big as well. You just have more people, maybe about four times, five times bigger here than, say, the population of Ukraine. And they tend to, a lot of the beautiful girls tend to leave the provincial cities and go to Moscow and St. Petersburg. It means you have a pretty big concentration of beauty there. Level English. It's pretty much like here. Maybe it's going to be a little bit better in uh, Moscow compared to, it's definitely going to be better in Moscow compared to the rest of the country in Russia. So you could go on uh, a weekend and be able to communicate 
uh, to a certain extent, not going to be Sweden, not going to be Serbia, but foreigner factor is really high as well. And you don't have the overkill like here where, you know, it's just like so many horny uh, foreign tourists coming to chase the girls. It doesn't happen in Russia, partly because from the West, at least you need a visa to go there. So it's actually pretty hard while it's here in Ukraine, it's visa free. And I'd say as a final point that, you know, Russia is a big multi melting pot in reality. A lot of people don't realize that. Of course, the majority are Slavs, we'll say, but you know, there's just so many different ethnicities. I'm doing my program for guys who are moving to Russia. And uh, in the live stream last night, I was even saying that there's over like 100 minority languages in <laughs> in Russia, there's 35 recognized minority languages. So that gives you an indication of different, the number, the just sheer number of different ethnicities that live in Russia. So you can get people who look Asian, as well as people who look kind of like Scandinavian and everything in between. You obviously have a lot of people coming from the Baltics and whatnot. So that's why I will put Russia number one in 2022. So that's my list for five best countries to meet beautiful women in Europe in 2022. So now that you have my list, my informed, educated list about where to go to in 2022, where do you need to hang out to meet the beautiful women when you come to countries like Russia, Ukraine, or Belarus in particular, since that's, they're the countries I feature here on my channel. Well, down below, there's a link uh, for the guys who join my free uh, mailing list and you get the Tsar's hotspots to Minsk, here in Kiev and Odessa in the south of Ukraine. So I'll give you a good starting point about where, you know, you should be hanging out when you get over here to the region. And uh, yeah, if you want to go more in depth, I did do a, a video in 2021 about which of the three countries, Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, is the best to move to. And, you know, I run programs for guys as well. We're planning to move to these three countries, also Moldova. And it depends on what you're trying to do and the particular interests you have uh, which of the three countries or four countries, if you include Moldova, is going to be the best fit for you. And the way to get bespoke personalized advice for me on which country is, of course, to invest in a consulting call. So I'll also put a link to that down below in the description to today's video. So as you can see, it's, a, it's not actually that cold uh, by Ukrainian standards. I have been in minus 35 Celsius here and today is probably a balmy minus seven or eight <laughs> so i'm gonna leave you uh from here from the wintry uh streets facing onto the great european plain on the step and wish you all the best in 2022 see you in the very next video dopobachna disvedania from kiev ukraine Sar experience